Hello everyone, now let us discuss about some of the mock questions from anatomy for CPC exam. Coming to the first question, which structure below is found in the mediastinum? Mediastinum is nothing but the chest area. And in the following, thymus gland is found in the mediastinum. The dash gland, coming to next question, the dash gland is the small gland in the brain that regulates the mood and secretes the hormone melatonin. Pineal gland is the gland that secretes the melatonin hormone and regulates the mood. So option B is the right answer. Next question, what is the outermost layer of the eyeball? The outermost layer of the eyeball is sclera. Next question, which body concentrates and stores bile produced in the liver? The bile is produced in the liver but it is stored in the gallbladder. Gallbladder is the organ which stores bile. Coming to next question, a pregnant woman infected with rubella virus give birth to a child with multiple birth defects. Which of the following terms describes these type of birth defects? The birth defects which come along with the birth are called as congenital. So option A is the right answer. Next question. Cushing syndrome may be caused by prednisolone therapy. And this syndrome is considered a disorder of which gland? Cushing syndrome is a disorder of adrenal gland. Coming to next question. Which of the following describes the location of humor? Femur is distal to the acetabulum and it is proximal to the patella. The best location of femur is it is distal to acetabulum and proximal to the patella. Where is the parahippocampal gyrus located? The parahippocampal gyrus is located in brain. Option B is the right answer. What condition is caused by accumulation of uric acid crystals in the base joint of the legs? Example, toes and other joints of feet and legs. So the condition where uric acid crystals are deposited or accumulated at the base of the joint is gout. Which term describes a muscle shortening in its length in a resting state and then remaining in its position? The term is contracture. Contracture is nothing but muscle shortening its length in a resting state. Which of the following represents the correct pathway for electrical activity of heart? The electrical activity passes through SA node, AV node, bundle of his or bundle branches and finally to through Purkinje fibers. So option B is the right answer. SA node, AV node, bundle branches and Purkinje fibers. What term could describe an inflammation of the plantar causing foot or heel, plane, heel pain when walking or running? Inflammation is usually given by itis. So the inflammation of plantar is nothing but plantar fasciitis. The next term is blepharoplasty. Blepharoplasty describes what type of procedure? Blepharo is nothing but eyelid. Oplasty is nothing but surgical repair. So surgical reduction of upper or lower eyelids to remove excess fat, skin or muscle is nothing but blepharoplasty. Which autoimmune disorder will eventually destroy the thyroid gland? Hashinamoto's thyroiditis is an autoimmune disorder which will eventually destroy the thyroid gland. Which of the following statements best describes a rheumatologist? Option C is the right answer. Rheumatologist is a specialist who provides a diagnosis and treatment of a disease characterized by inflammation of connective tissue. Which septum divides upper two chambers of the heart? Interatrial septum divides the upper two chambers of heart because atria are the upper two chambers of heart. Interatrial septum divides the upper two chambers of heart. 
which conditions have predominant symptoms of rapid involuntary eye movement nystagmus is a condition which has rapid involuntary eye movements next bacterial cystitis is usually caused by escherichia coli e coli bacterial cystitis is usually caused by e coli which below is located in the depression of the skull at the base of the brain pituitary gland pituitary gland is located in the depression of the skull at the base of the brain this is the first portion of small intestine duodenum is the first portion of small intestine this is a part of inner ear this is a part of inner ear vestibule is a part of inner ear among the given options vestibule is the part of inner ear next question is this is the area behind the cornea option a is the right answer anterior chamber is the area behind the cornea next this is a collarbone clavicle is nothing but collarbone so option b is the right answer thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and cbc training